Well, a thief is on the run on the Gold Coast this morning after stealing a man's luxury watch during a Facebook marketplace sale gone horribly wrong. The incident has prompted a fresh warning for anyone trying to sell their belongings online. Let's bring in today tech expert Trevor Long. Trev, good morning. This was a pretty shocking mm. attack. How did it happen? Yeah, good morning, guys. This was a simple sale, according to the to the person trying to sell a, a Rolex watch. But they listed it on Facebook Marketplace and organised to meet, I, I assume, in their own street. And so when they were handing over the watch to show the person who was planning to buy it, allegedly they ran off, mm. got into their car, and as the seller went to the car, he was actually hit to the ground by the car and suffered facial and... Sh and shoulder injuries. So uh, a really, really tough one for him and the neighbours who witnessed it. There's a plenty of people who sell stuff yeah. um, this way, right? Um, so it begs the question, mm -hmm. is it safe to sell? Does it matter um, what items you're selling? I mean, how, how can you make it happen without anything going wrong? Mm. I think it's really hard to declare selling online safe given yeah. how much of this goes on, whether it's, it's this kind of attempted theft or the fraud and scams that happen online. And I'm telling you, it happens literally on a daily basis. Uh, the fraud and scams are probably much more prevalent, so uh, looking to you know, get you to pay through different mechanisms. But you know, just meeting a person, random mm. person on your street can be a risk when you're selling something small or large. Trev, what kind of advice would you give? Because I, you, you can be a bit more selective, can't you, with sort of the marketplaces that you sell on. There's obviously Facebook Marketplace, there, but there's others that are a bit more exclusive. Yeah, I think you look at Facebook and Gumtree as the big two platforms. You need to remember that you are open to literally mm. everyone there. The most important thing here is choose your own payment method. Don't be swayed to accept money through a different payment method like PayPal or PayID. Mm. If you're not wanting to use it, don't use it. But more importantly, when you're making these transactions, at some point you have to physically hand over the product. So while it's, it's terrible to have to give this advice now after this happened to this 34-year-old, you need to meet in a busy public place the food court at a shopping centre, a car park where there's lots of people around because the brazen kind of theft mm. like this normally only occur does, occurs in a quieter area. Does Facebook take any responsibility at all in this? I've never heard a statement from Facebook. I've never even seen advice from Facebook like the ones I'm giving now. Um, they may have given it, but I've never seen it. Mm. And I think that that's the challenge here. We, we think it's a big company, a big brand, but in the end, yeah, Facebook is own. simply a platform that connects to people. You are yeah. on your own. What I hope, Carl, is that Facebook is working really hard with law enforcement to make sure that they can help track down the person that committed this alleged crime. Good on you, Trev. Good morning for everyone. Thank you so much. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?